All right, guys, we just got these delivered to our house. They're our new stools. We got kind of all laid out here. Guys, we sold the other ones that were in our other house. They were really cute, but we were like trying to go for like a something. Different vibe. A different vibe. A different vibe. We wanted to add a little vibe. bit more warmth to the house. Since our house is like so black and white, we want to add wood in different ways where we can. And so these chairs will like tie in with our table and like the rest of the vibe once we get the rest of our furniture. But we weren't expecting these to come today. I don't know what type of stuff they be giving me. This don't fit their little, their little things. This is the hardest. Look guys, show them the close up. Come here. So they got us put in these screws in this like middle section. I gotta stick this thing all, all types of ways. All types of ways. And this isn't fitting in the thing. So what I gotta the other find side? This side. The, no, that one, that's the one that's not working. The other side's uh, a little round. I have to find a new one of my things. So. What? No, it's gotta work. I don't know, babe. It's kind of hard. Sometimes Sam can be hey. a little silly. Relax. I have to show him how to do things Relax. around here. <laughs> it needs a little help. Guys. <laughs> but anyways, We'll we're show you guys the, the you know. Product. Also, weird note, we ordered three and two of them showed up. Right. Not the other one. And it says it was, it's out for delivery, so maybe we'll get one maybe later. Maybe forgot, I think forgot. Maybe he just took it home. Yeah, he's like. Maybe <laughs> Zara. Zara, do you know where it is? Where's the third one? Do you know? <laughs> She's I don't like, even know where my ball is. <laughs> She's like, I don't know, but that's supposed to be my seat, so he's gotta deliver that. <laughs> you are so cute. Okay guys, ready? These are gonna be put together in three, two, two. one. Boom, Ooh. guys. Look at this one, guys, you can see. Look at that, they actually turned out kind of fire. Dude, they're a pain, but. The world's most difficult chair to put together, but I think, I don't know, they give them a little. Isn't that look nice? Yeah, very nice, so we'll have another one too. We're waiting for one more. Guys, let us know what you guys think, because we're. Hey, put them, put them next to each other. I want to see if we have room for a third one. How's that going? Oh, fun, but that boom, boom, boom. That'll fit perfect. Guys, and it might look like kind of weird, but like once we get the dining table in, you gotta trust the process, okay? I promise that this is gonna be a vibe, like with the dining table. Table, yeah, and the extra sofa that we're getting. So I actually really gonna like be, them. That's gonna be sick. And they're gonna look Give really some, cute. Give me some. Boom. <laughs> On you. Did I get you? He hits camera a little bit. A little bit? A little bit? I wasn't expecting that. I was spying on you from the camera up there. I was totally like checking where you were, spying on you. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys, I'm gonna get scared. Okay, stay, stay. Okay, watch the training in progress. Stay. Watch the training. Stay. Whoa, Zara's trying to get a little peek on him. Sit, Zara, sit. Zara, sit. sit. Good girl. Oh, good job. Oh, so good. Good dogs. Okay, guys. We are jumping right into the part of the video that you guys clicked on for. So, so we are about to are we answer your biggest assumptions about us and our relationship, our life, just everything, everything. you assume about us currently. Everything. And we haven't done a video, we haven't done this type of video in a minute. Like the last one we did, I think was over a year ago. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I was like looking through and I'm pretty sure it was over a year ago. And if it wasn't that, then it's been less than that, but still a long time. So we haven't, we, you, you guys haven't assumed stuff about us in a while. And we haven't. We've done a lot of Q and A's and whatnot. We've done a lot of those. Very but sit down videos, but not that I guess. This is, we got some, okay, so basically I asked my Instagram story, you know, for you guys to get, like, what do you guys assume about us? So follow us on Instagram so you can be a part of the next type of videos like this, but you guys kind of like went crazy. A lot of questions that we probably haven't answered in either at all or in a while. So I am excited for this video. A little scared, a little scared, but excited. Are you excited, Ben? I'm excited. Okay, so basically we're just gonna hop right into it. I got a few questions on my phone. We're gonna read it off and see what- Let's jump right into see it. See if it's true or not, let's go. All right, first up on the list, have you guys ever had sexy time? 
That's so, a question, not an assumption. So they're assuming that we've never had sex. So here's the thing, guys. You caught us. You <laughs> did. You caught. We haven't had sex yet. Okay. I am waiting, babe. When can we? Come on, babe. When can we do it? Can we like plan a time to like schedule like our first time? What do you think? Yeah, like, your when, birthday like, maybe, next year. Maybe my birthday. You should maybe your birthday a little bit sooner. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, guys, we've obviously okay. We're married. We've been married for a year and a half. You guys do the math on that, all right? <laughs> you guys, <laughs> all right? You guys do the math. That's all I gotta say. The next assumption is your parents paid for your house. Guys, this okay. I feel like I've seen a lot of these comments. Well, especially we posted a short. Like we we did like a trend where it's oh, like yeah. how did this turn into this into this, and we did like through the construction, and it's just a trend to like show. It was just like it was like when it was just things. dirt, and when the foundation went in, it was framed, and but then walking into the house. Yeah, and sometimes people take that literally, like how the heck did this happen? And so a lot of people were like <laughs> upset, saying like. Oh, we don't appreciate you don't appreciate the, like the hard work people put in the house and like no like we, we appreciate, so appreciate like, it We were over here bringing them. Oh, yeah goodies the whole time they were we were working. bringing the workers like pizza and donuts and because water and Gatorade like every other day like in we we're bringing the construction manager like stuff to his house like for his family like we appreciated like Everybody that built our house because they're just like such amazing people. But back to the question. Oh, so yeah, just, just <laughs> also on that, we saw a lot of people saying like, oh, like your parent, yeah, you probably had daddy's money or like stuff like that. It's so annoying because like, first of all, both of our families, we were not grown up in the like best off families. Is all we're I have not, to not say. Not best off. We didn't have like wealthy families. That's what I'm saying. Like they like. We weren't well off like it wasn't like like our families are rich or anything yeah. like that like Up on the opposite like, side A 1200 square foot house. I shared a room with my sister until I moved out and then I shared like a 10 by 10 yeah. with Sam like, And I grew up with a single mom, so it's not like anyways you guys get that point like it was not so no <laughs> to answer the question in the long If anything form. we worry about trying to take care of our families <laughs> If anything we want to buy like I want to buy my mom a house someday and like stuff like that like that's And that's just, like things yeah. to you guys like supporting us and watching us, we were able to buy this house by ourselves with no yeah. other help. Yeah. Which we're super blown away that that's even a possibility because we are just 20 and that's so crazy. So I'm I mean, and rightfully so for you guys to think that. I yeah, mean, like, I understand like why people would think that. 100%. But it did come down to like us working our butts off and like being dedicated to 100%. like posting and stuff, and of course you guys being there to support us. So 100. So no, it wasn't no. our parents' money. To answer your question. All right, next assumption is you guys are super genuine. Aww. That's a nice one. You know, we're kind of like going back and forth. So, <laughs> I mean, that's for you guys to decide, but I feel like, I feel like we try to be as genuine as possible, right? <laughs> like, I, I mean, I feel like we try our best to be like ourselves, right? I yeah. Mean, I don't know. What do you guys think? I feel like it's hard, hard to say that about yourselves, being like, oh yeah, I'm genuine, but like, I feel like, yeah, I mean, I guess we try our best to. That's up to you guys. You guys comment down below. And I tell definitely us. don't think we're fake people. Like, we'll, like we really try to like be our honest yeah, we're selves not... and like tell you guys honestly everything that go comes like goes yeah. on we're in our life. We're definitely the same people off camera than we are like on camera. Like, we don't like just we're not like different people on YouTube than we are like in real life. Our genuine. relationship is definitely very genuine. Like, yeah, hundred percent, not fake, babe. We're not... <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> What's crazy is that you guys have like literally seen us from like one year dating to now five years being together. Which and is just, married. You guys saw married. us from dating to engaged to married. It's crazy. That's crazy. So and you guys one day, have seen the progression of us. One day, those guys have kids. You guys saw us wow. and dogs. It's crazy. Kind of crazy. And it's so, crazy. It's really cool to like think about the fact that like all of those memories are documented. Like yes. I feel like filming every aspect of your life can get, and I'm going off on tangents, yeah. but I just wanted to say that it's really cool that we'll be able to go back and look at those memories. That's fire. It is. It's fire. Okay. So apparently there are a lot of people saying they are assuming I'm prego. Prego. Or, or Jess has been sick because she's prego. I mean, I guess we don't, I mean, you haven't taken a test, but I don't think, what do you think, babe? What was really weird was the other morning, like two days ago, I literally woke up, I was fine, I was making breakfast, and then all of a sudden, I felt like I was gonna like throw up, and then they had to like lay down and like sleep for a couple She was hours. out for like, yeah, a few hours, like out for the couch. And then a few weeks ago, I had like the weirdest flu bug where I had a fever, and I was sick, and I don't think that. Which we vlogged, and you guys, we made a video about that. That was super weird, like I had a fever for two days, I felt better for a day, and I had a fever again, and it was like, I don't know what's going on. That was a weird 
like and this sickness. year day was weird because i felt like i was gonna pass out and i was like puked and it was like you guys know i don't do i, I don't do well and we're not trying to say that she's pregnant this is not us trying to like beat her on the bush saying no i don't like i don't think you're pregnant like, I, I don't it's think definitely so not no i don't think so because no. <laughs> i have been religiously taking my birth control <laughs> just, yeah just and like if if i was to be pregnant like it'd be something would be like such a great yeah. blessing and we'd be 100%. very like happy it just would be sooner than we would expect just because we're 20 and we kind of envisioned ourselves 100 percent. wait hold on hold that hold life. that hold that there is assumption about that hold on you're both thinking of having kids sooner than originally planned originally thing we've talked about this that we want to wait until like we're at 24 25 because we're both 20 right now so like maybe three to five more years i would say that's like the plan that's like how our plan has been since we've like kind of started talking about that like yeah. early on I don't know if it's changed. You think? I mean, I don't think it's changed. You think it's changed? <laughs> no, I don't think so. But I feel like we've only been together for a year, so like, like oh. married. Sorry, <laughs> not together. We've only been married for a year, so yeah. I don't know if like in another year or two, like if we'll be like having baby fever, or, like yeah. Have a Plans baby. might change in the future, but at this point. I don't think, for me at least, plans haven't changed. I'm still kind of down for like that time period. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of scary because some people try for years and other people get pregnant their first try. And so it's kind of hard to, you can't really plan when that happens. You no, know? yeah, I mean, yeah, who knows? We're just saying that. And then you, yeah, yeah, we're you saying know, like so. in an ideal world this age, but who knows, maybe we'd start trying then and it wouldn't happen. Or maybe we start trying early and it happens the first try yeah, and then, you just don't know. Who knows? But no, answer to that is no. Okay, this one's fun. Someone said you plan to add a stripper pole to your living room. Guys, right back there, I say all the way up, dude. That would be like a big. That'd be a, get a good workout, like trying uh, to climb that. That's what, babe. Come on, I feel yeah, like plan. guys. Comment down below. <laughs> All right, this person's assuming that we have sex every day. Every day, baby. Okay, we do know couples that we do it three times a day. We do. But. That's not us. We are those people. I don't know. Okay, guys, to answer your question, we don't have sex every day. Sorry to disappoint. Sorry, but I don't know, like, I don't know. That's just going into, like, going into marriage. Like, wait, you know, we wait until marriage. So that I was just thinking, I was like, dude, yeah, 100%, like, we're going to be having sex every day, like, before we're having sex. Multiple times a day. Yeah, that was my, like. All over the place. That was my mindset. But then for some reason, it's just, like, not like that. And that's. That's like on me, Loki. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like yeah, once you're married, not just be like, oh, I'm done. Like you've done it, and like it's so not like not that it's like that. But I feel but... like Loki like like not like in a bad way. What? No, 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 not saying like that. Been <laughs> like, <laughs> there, done that. <laughs> no, 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 no. I didn't mean like that. But it's like. Okay, guys. So just to clarify, because I feel like. <laughs> We just, I feel like, I don't feel like we don't have sex like ever. It's not like we don't have sex. We oh no, we've been like, having sex. Yeah. We just yeah. don't have it as often as we, I feel like we thought we would be. Cause, cause we waited and I feel like there was so much anticipation, but we just have busy lives and it's like, you get tired. We be night. having sex though. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's all I gotta say. <laughs> okay, we're done. Anyways. Okay, the next assumption is you guys fight all the time. There's the juice, baby. How'd you know? How did you guys? Did you guys fight about us? We'd fight. We definitely fight. Like, but not all the time. It's not like we're fighting like all day, every Here's day. Here's the thing. Sam has a lot of attitude. I'm stubborn. All right. He very is. Stubborn. He's very sassy and has a lot of attitude. And so sometimes I have to put him in his place. She do be putting me in my place. That is some facts. So like, okay, I feel like we like we you know we're we're a married we're couple. Okay, we've been together forever. Of course, we're gonna have arguments and disagreements and fights, but. The, the, here's a little life advice, okay? It's not how much, okay, maybe you should be fine all the time, but I don't think it's about how much you disagree and fight, but I think it's about how you like recover from those fights and stuff like that, you know? Mm -hmm. Which I think is what we're really good at. Yeah. Like we, we talk about stuff, we never go to bed angry at each other. We That's always true. resolve things like right after. It doesn't last all day, it's just like a five minute thing and then I it's like, like we're when good. we're upset, we're good at like listening to each other and like trying to like come to like a way to fix it or, or whatnot, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, 100%. So. 
So, but yeah, that's that's a good tip. It's just like make sure you guys are good at working things out. We've been we've been watching the Married at First Sight show here and there, and I feel like a lot of people's problems come when like someone gets upset and they just leave, and then they're just angry at each other. And that's how a lot of couples are, just like in, in general, real life. And yeah. I think that's like people will be like, okay, I just want to take a break, and they like leave angry, and then things happen when when they shouldn't happen. Or yeah, sleep somewhere else for the night. You haven't talked about it yet, and then it's just like and terrible. like maybe yeah. space is good in some circumstances, but for us, I feel like it's been really good because when we make up, we both I feel like we always both say we're sorry because I'm sure we both said things we shouldn't have uh -huh. and we like hug it out and we work things out and I feel like we end mm -hmm. up being closer after those things. 100%. So. Alright ladies and gentlemen last assumption of the video are you guys ready? Are you ready Ben? Alright so the assumption is that you guys want a third dog before you have kids. To answer your question no. <laughs> I do not dude two dogs is enough like that is way more than enough they are just like a handful. We love them We like, and if we got a third dog I would love the thing so much it wouldn't even be a big deal but I just know that like two dogs and some kids is like full schedule Well I'm glad we do have two because they keep each other busy most yeah, of the day 100%. which is nice because when we just had Ryder he was like constantly they just needing our attention and now they kind of like like they still want our attention or, and are very needy but like they do play with each other a lot which is nice but I also want yeah. to cover the topic because I think like last time we talked to you guys I don't know when that was but we had talked about how we were, we were wanting to breed Zara and have puppies and we thought that experience would be just like so fun to like her yeah, having birth that. and like watching the puppies grow and then finding like really good really homes good for, the homes for the puppies, puppies yeah. but here's the thing one I feel like if we were to go through all of that, you'd want to like keep a puppy, and we don't need another dog, like Sam just said. Like two is enough. Like if you, we yeah, had three, we'd be outnumbered, you know. And yeah, and you'd be like, you get super attached to all the puppies because you gotta raise them for two months before you can find homes for them. Mm -hmm. So that would be like really difficult, like getting rid of all of them. But we do not need another dog, especially if we're gonna have kids like in three to five years, because the dogs are still gonna be around in five yeah. years. So we're and gonna we'd have. Be, like, really yeah. torn about it because we were like oh but it'd be like so fun and like play with puppies yeah and then here's my second reason we have three reasons zara I don't, you guys, I don't know if you guys like can really see her personality, but she is just so, she's so sweet. She's so sweet. She's so tender. Like her personality is just like so like soft. She's just gentle. so yeah. She's like she's just like really sweet. And so like I feel like some dogs can handle like their puppies being given away from them, and it's like it's okay like when they go away, and I know like I know like they mature and whatever, and it's okay. It's kind of a part of their life. But I don't know. I'm just worried that it would like hurt her heart. <laughs> yeah, she would break her heart. I don't know how she would handle it, like for yeah, real. If we take her puppies away. So we don't want to do that. We don't. We just don't want to like put her through that. Just like, just for our like having fun of it. Fun. Yeah. Or, like, like I think it would be a fun experience. We could vlog it for you guys, and it'd be like really cool. But yeah. But that's also like we're just that's putting so her cool. through that. Like we shouldn't. Yeah. I yeah, don't we, know. If we weren't even to keep one, like I don't know. Yeah. We we just thought it would be a better idea not to do that. And then third and final reason is I guess like adoption rates of dogs are really down right now, and we had like like the breeder that bred both of them had really cute puppies and she had a really hard time finding homes for them right now and I was like okay yeah. we had 10 puppies and we couldn't find them homes like I would want to be stuck with 10 dogs yeah and, and that would just really be sad. and that's just something yeah we gotta think about so but yeah to answer your question no not to our dog <laughs> and not. I want to just update you guys let you know that we're not gonna breed we're Zara we're not gonna breed Zara but you know she has her spay is it called a spay yeah we're getting her spayed in a week or two so that's that that is that ladies and gentlemen yeah, that's all the tea. That is all the tea. If you guys enjoyed the assumption video, that sounded like you farted. That was her, <laughs> that was her phone, I promise. If you guys enjoyed that video, make sure to smash the like button. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Here's our post notification shout out. We love and appreciate you. If you guys want more, video, you guys want another assumption video, a little part two. I say like, I don't know, 10,000 likes on the video. 10,000? Because, you know, you guys, you guys got really want it. If we're doing this again, you Holy guys got it. You guys got really want it. Alrighty. Alrighty, well. Without further ado, we love you guys. And, and until next time. Alrighty guys, we hope you love that video. We have been working on something that we're super excited about. It's for everyone who has always wanted to be a YouTuber. Yeah guys, we created a course on how to be a YouTuber and how we basically were successful being a YouTuber and building our channel. And it's everything that we wish we would have known on day one that we wanna help you guys out with. So if you're interested in becoming a YouTuber and need help, make sure you click that link down below because it's on sale and you don't want to miss out.